Hi friends, I am Dr. B.V. Rao of Pushra Clinic and founder of the website skewmedicaldoubts.blogspot.in and raghavamedicaldoubts.com. Through these videos, I am providing the basic knowledge about the commonly occurring diseases, treatment and surgery details when necessary for the medical knowledge to general people and for reference to medicals. Today I am going to discuss about the hydronephrosis, diagnosis and surgery details. Hydronephrosis is the aseptic dilatation of the whole or part of the kidney due to a partial or intermittent obstruction to the outflow of urine. Hydronephrosis may be one-sided or may be present on both sides. Unilateral hydronephrosis. It is uh, usually due to some unilateral obstruction. It is usually at the pelvic ureter junction. Any length of the ureter above the obstruction is also dilated. <coughs> the causes may be extramural and intramural obstruction. Extramural obstruction. <coughs> In majority of cases of uh, pelvic uh, hydronephrosis, An artery or vein at the lower uh, lower pole obstructs the upper ureter. Usually, it is uh, not an aberrant vessel, but a normal inferior artery or vein that has been uh, displaced downwards by the enlarged uh, renal pelvis. This displaced vessel, while adding uh, considerably to the rapid increase in size of the <coughs> hydronephrosis is not the cause. The cause may be the growth from outside like a carcinoma of cervix, prostate, rectum, colon or cecum. It also may be due to idiopathic retroperitoneal fibrosis. Intramural nephrosis. The primary causes may be Echalacia at the pelvic ureteric uh, junction, congenital stenosis, or uh, physiological narrowing. Next important reason may be the congenital atresia of the ureteric orifice. Next comes the stricture due to the inflammation caused by removal of uh, stone that was lodged in position of the ureter for a considerable time or uh, tuberculosis of ureter. Stricture may also possible after uh, ureterouretic anastomosis or uh, trauma to the ureter during pelvic operation. Malignancy of the ureter or the bladder involving the ureteric orifice. The calculus in the ureter or small calculus in the renal pelvis, the latter may cause the intermittent hydronephrosis. Bilateral hydronephrosis. It may be caused by the uh, obstruction of the urethra or may also be caused by the lesions occurring on both sides. The obstruction is in the lower urinary tract. The cause may be atresia of urethral meatus or the phimosis. Congenital valve of the posterior urethra or congenital contracture of the bladder neck. Carcinoma of the cervix rectum involving both ureters. Stricture of urethra due to injury of, uh, or uh, inflammation or uh, may be due to phimosis. When the obstruction lies in urethra, muscular hypertrophy of the bladder occurs. The ureters by the reason of this uh, hypertrophy become uh, partially obstructed in the intramural portion of the course. In a kidney with an extra renal pelvis, first the pelvis is uh, dilated, pelvic hydronephrosis, followed by dilatation of calysis. The renal parenchyma is uh, progressively destroyed by pressure atrophy. 
in a kidney with intrarenal uh, pelvis the destruction of the parenchyma is rapid in any case it is a matter of years clinical features unilateral hydronephrosis it is common in females and the right side is more affected pay when the obstruction is at pelvis pelvic ureteric junction pain is uh, less and there is only an ache or a sense of weight in the loin after intake of uh, alcohol or excess of water on examination an enlarged kidney kidney may be formed a renal colic an attack of renal colic may be there and uh, palpable swelling may not be there intermittent hydronephrosis dietals crisis after an attack of renal colic abdominal uh, rigidity the swelling is found in the loin the uh, next day a larger quantity of urine is passed due to reflux uh, polyuria the pain is uh, relieved and the swelling disappears bilateral hydronephrosis symptoms due to lower urinary obstruction a dull ache in the loin is present the symptoms are overshadowed by the symptoms of uh, causative lesion there may be uremia thirst and uh, loss of appetite there is polyuria with urine of of uh, flow specific gravity low specific, uh, specific gravity and a little albumin renal failure may be followed due to bilateral upper urinary obstruction this condition is rare symptoms may be bilateral but frequently they are on one side only due to pregnancy dilatation of the ureters and the renal pelvis occurs in every pregnancy both sides are affected but more on the right side the dilatation commences in the first few weeks of gestation and uh, reaches its maximum in the 6th month then it remains stationary till after delivery till the involution the condition may be due to the atony of u- uterus <coughs> due to the progesterone or uh, pressure of the fetal head on ureters more liable to have infection and uh, rarely the hydronephrosis may persist pyelography ivp except during pregnancy when x-rays are uh, contraindicated the diagnosis is made by excretory pyelography when the hydronephrosis is advanced uh, films uh, taken 6 to 24 hours later the injection of the medium as a rule the earliest uh, pyelogra- pyelographic manifestation of uh, hydronephrosis is a dilatation of renal pelvis when the pelvis is extra renal the next change is the <coughs> decreasing concavity flattening of uh, minor calyces and uh, dilatation of the major calyces in moder- moderate sized hydronephrosis the minor calyces become con- convex and finally club shaped and the major calyces is broadened in advanced cases there is extreme dilatation of renal pelvis and the calyces there may be an excretion of media doubtful cases may be clarified on occasion by inducing a diuresis during excretion pyelography which may blow up a hydronephrosis retrograde pyelography may be required when the results of excretory pyelography are not uh, conclusive delay in emptying may be shown by a film taken 10 minutes after the pelvis has uh, been filled retrogradely by this time the normal pelvis should have emptied treatment conservative treatment mild bilateral cases with few symptoms should be followed up indications for operation bouts of renal pain increasing dilatation of renal pelvis and calyces or infection nephrectomy 
Nephrectomy should be performed if the renal uh, parenchyma has been largely destroyed, operate, operated only when the dilatation is uh, increasing. Careful freeing of the ureters, ureterolysis is an essential preliminary to specific procedures. Ligation and division of obstruct, obstructing blood vessels, the neighborhood of the pelvic ureteric junction together with the clearance of adhesions gives a <coughs> lasting cure. The side effects may be the ischemic uh, infarction of the lower pole of the kidney. Reconstruction of hydronephrosis. It is employed in case of uh, advanced pelvic hydronephrosis providing a reasonable thickness of uh, renal parenchyma remains. Anderson's Heinz operation. It is the uh, best operation. The affected kidney is uh, displayed <coughs> the upper third of the ureter and the renal pelvis are mobilized. The renal vein overlying the pelvic ureteric junction can be divided. But an artery in this uh, situation whether aberrant or not should be preserved. The anastomosis is performed in front of such artery. The upper end of the ureter is divided a short distance below the pelvic ureteric junction. The ureter is uh, dilated with uh, bogies and is uh, laid aside temporarily. The redundant uh, part of the renal pelvis together with the ureterial pelvic junction is uh, resected. The flap of the lower part of the pelvis being retained. The upper two-thirds of the opening thus created in the renal pelvis is uh, closed with a 00 plain catgut suture traveling all coats. The upper end of the ureter is still for slit for uh, 3 cm and its anterior edge is anastomosed to the anterior edge of the pelvic flap by a continuous suture of a double zero plain catheter. A ureteric catheter is passed into the ureter for a short distance. This is uh, merely a temporary expedient to keep the deep structured layer of, out of the way while the superficial edges are uh, drawn together in the same manner. The catheter is withdrawn before the anastomosis is completed. Davis intubated urethrostomy. When the pelvis is not greatly enlarged, longitudinal incision of the of a narrowed segment of uh, ureter leaving a T tube across the split to allow growth around the tube is a simple and effective treatment. Renal pedicle sympathectomy. Denervation of kidney. In case of a uh, small hydronephrosis, when the, when the cause is not known, it is the successful in uh, relieving the pain. Function is improved and the calcium dilatation is reduced in young patients. The technique involves the mobilization of the kidney and uh, careful stripping of all connective tissue and uh, sympathetic fibers from the hilum of the kidney. The vessels, the renal, pelvic, and upper 2.5 cm of the ureter. That's all about the hydronephrosis, and in the next video, I will discuss about uh, some other disease. Thank you.